Now, we have new details tonight in a story we broke first online and on Twitter. A student at King Street High School passed out after a school employee tried to pull her away from a fight, but it looks as if he put her in a chokehold, as you can see by this video behind me. This is video of that fight. A student's family contacted us at News 2 with questions about the investigation. So we sent News 2's Raymond Owens to King Street to get answers. A fight broke out at King Street High School Monday between two girls. And as you can see, school employees tried to get involved to stop it when one student, a 15-year-old, passed out. I received a phone call because I was at work. And I received the phone call and it was letting me know that my daughter was in a fight at school. Yolanda Neesmith said this was not from the school. A caller said her daughter had passed out after being in a chokehold. About 15 minutes later, she spoke to the man in the video by phone. I heard that you choked my daughter to the point where she passed out. He said, oh no, oh no, I didn't choke her at all. I rescreened her from the waist. Someone nearby happened to record video on their camera. From what I saw in the video, the video itself, it speaks for itself. She hired attorney Ben Moore to help determine what to do. He suggested she contact law enforcement. A tremendous officer by the name of Robert Lee. He has been very wonderful in this whole situation. She said Officer Lee took the case to a magistrate to ask for an arrest warrant, but the magistrate refused to sign off. The Williamsburg County School District sent me a statement, quote, we have several programs in place to assist our students in resolving conflicts without physical contact. The district is investigating this incident and working cooperatively with local authorities. Neesmith tells me that she plans to ask SLED to investigate this case. In King Street, I'm Raymond Owens, News 2.